Hello my friends, it's Nancy Bastine and what I'm doing today is I'm on a different setup, I'm on a different table. I am harvesting some material to make masks. Now these were some old shirts of my husband's and I'm going to take, I'm just going to cut them up. I know, I know it's terrible, I could give them to a thrift store. But I need material, and so I'm going to harvest them. I'm cutting off the buttons, and I'm going to put the buttons in here. Because I, and I just wanted to bring you on this little journey with me. Because, you know, we need to be resourceful as we can. And I was just going to send these to the thrift store and I was going through some things and I thought you know what he had some old plaid shirts and I bet they're 100 percent cotton and sure enough I looked on him and I took the label off and it says you can't see it but it says 100% cotton. That's what they want. These, uh, I'm putting the buttons in this little thing right here. This was the thing my mom did all the time. She oh, always, when the shirts wore out, they no longer could be used. She harvested the material out of them made different things for us kids and she always saved the buttons and I think that's a good idea so that's kind of what I'm doing and what material I don't use for making masks I will have material that I can use for something else um, you know down the line so and I won't have to buy any material I've got and these are big shirts because my husband was a big man as you can see on that little paper he this was a three extra large now when he was sick with cancer before he got sick with cancer, he weighed 350 pounds. Yeah, he was a big guy. And then when he went on his first chemo about, he lost 100 pounds. That was quite a lot of weight for a guy to lose, but he did. And it didn't, you know, he still had quite a bit of weight on him, so it wasn't like he was skin and bones. And he wore these shirts because he was always cold. So I'd always buy him these shirts when available. And they had these at Walmart at one time. And they weren't very expensive. And so this is what I am doing today. And I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. Now, I have a doggy. I have two doggies that seem to think they can pee the bed. Oh, oops, that one dropped on the floor and I have no idea where it went. Well, I'll find it when I clean in here. So, I put diapers on them at night. And I have to put them on really tight and so that they don't get them off. I'm just going to cut this pocket off of here. I'm not going to try and, I'm going to try and maybe, no, it won't tear. I don't have really good fabric scissors because I don't work with fabric and I, I should have ordered some. 
I ordered fabric from Joann's that I'm going to go pick up here shortly today. They're going to bring it out to my car. They're going to set it on my hood of my car. I paid for it online. I, I wonder if I turn this inside out, if I can just cut that seam. No, it's top stitched. <laughs> so anyway, um, my one little doggy, it rubbed a sore on her belly, and I could not get her to stop licking it. These scissors are worthless for cutting material. And... Hang on, I'm going to go in the other room and get this other pair of scissors and see if they work better. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll see if these scissors work any better. So... I called the veterinarian and I said, what can I put on this sore so she won't lick it anymore? And he said to get some of this stuff. These don't work any better. These scissors. You see, I don't make journals out of material. I don't make anything. I have a sewing machine. Wes bought me a sewing machine. I think I used it once. But I'm going to use it again. Oh, there's a piece of that. So he told me to go buy this new skin. And it's a liquid bandage. And she won't lick it. Oh, so I put it on her today. And it stinks to high heaven. It smells so bad. Anyway, I could it smells all over the house. It smells so bad. It smells like fingernail polish. So we are on official lockdown until um, April 1st. Yeah. Official lockdown. Lovely, huh? Well, these scissors are just sawing through this material. Let me see if I can find some Tim Holt scissors. See if they work any better. I got a ton of scissors, but none of them to cut material. Let's see if these will work. So, you, it was announced, I'm a member of this, oh, these work better. I'm a member of this, I joined this nextdoor.com, I don't know if any of you have heard it, and your states, and where you live, but it's where you can post on there about different things, different different things that you do uh, like jobs and stuff that you can do in the neighborhood and different things that you need well they were posting on there about making these masks but then they were then the post got on there saying there was a bunch of um you can't see what I'm doing there was a bunch of nurses and stuff that got on there and said it. If you if you make the mask, usually they don't accept them at the hospital because they're not, you know, they don't. They're not surgical masks and they don't yada yada. Well, you know, I know this. But when you look on the internet, it's that is not what the mask not for the hospitals to but it does ward off some of the um, 
germs. Some of, you know. So if my family's going to go out and about, it's better if they wear these kind of masks uh, made out of cloth. Now, I have seen on YouTube CF patients, cystic fibrosis patients, that go outside that wear cloth masks. Sure, it's not going to keep them from getting, but it helps. It helps um, protect themselves and it helps protect others from their CF. But if you're going to sneeze or cough, it's better to have a mask on made out of material. Sure, it's not going to catch all of the particles that are virus, but, you know, if you're going to sneeze and cough, then um, it's better than wearing nothing. So basically, I'm just harvesting this material just to... Make a few masks. Oh, you cannot get elastic anywhere in on um, any of the craft stores, anywhere in the fabric stores, online, nowhere. You can't buy elastic. So I'll show you my alternative to this elastic thing. And I probably am going to have them get all sold out. But Dollar Tree carries these hair bands. And guess what they're made out of? Elastic. Elastic. And they're pretty colors. And they are probably a fourth of an inch wide which they are requiring they're soft and I bought this one has six in it this one has six in it this one has seven of them in it and this one has seven and then I had some extra ones that I had bought for a journal when Angie from My Fairy Treasures was making journals and I was making one. She was using these to keep her journal clothes. So guess what? I got elastic. And then if you can't find any in any elastic at all, your next alternative is to make ties. Now you can make a tie with um material the same material just sew it together if you know how to sew um there was one more little button on this sleeve um you know just sew a piece of material together a shoelace be ingenious guys let's be ingenious and do what we have to do but if you can't find any of that. And I was gonna have these prepared, but a long time ago, I bought, it's called um, File Elastics. They are for, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find them so you can see what they are. I'll be right back. I'm back. These are called file elastics. Now these will work and they are soft but they're only like an eighth of an inch wide and I don't know if that'll cut into your ear or not but you can cover these with material and um so they won't be so harsh but these work also and you can get these at Staples. Staples has a lot of different kinds of elastics. I ordered these, but these will not work. But I got these today. But these, I thought these would work, but they're just, oh, they're just too, 
too stiff and these are a half an inch wide so I don't know what I'm going to use all these for but um, I don't know I'll figure out something and then I thought well maybe I should order this kind and I had no clue it was going to come in this big huge box but it has even an opening there but look more of those soft file elastics you know and I think these are not sewing elastics and but most of the time these people that these masks are being made for they're only going to use them to put over the top of their other mask I was told and they're just going to throw them away you make you make them double sided and you make them with a pocket in it so you can put a liner and you can put a liner of um, now there's me a good piece of material a liner of coffee filters yeah I'm telling you all my secrets now and everybody's going to go out and buy all these coffee filters. I bought a bunch yesterday. Yeah, I did go out. To, I wanted to go out to see if Dollar Tree had my Arizona sweet tea. And they had some. And I bought ten more bottles of it. Because I can't find it anywhere else. So... Yeah, we all need to be resourceful. And also, they were saying you could, in the pocket of these, I was watching a couple of people on YouTube make these um, masks. And they were saying, uh, as a filter, the best one, the best thing to make the mask out of, if you can have get it or have it is um <sighs> vacuum bags if you have vacuum bags that are new you can use those and um there's another button for my little button box. So be careful. Make sure you get all your buttons. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? So, um, let's see, what else was I gonna tell you? I'm gonna cut this off. Now these you could use for um, closures on your journals. You know, you can put a little put a little piece like that and glue it to your journal and and put a little brad in it. And or you can punch out holes or cut holes, punch out circles. Or cut out circles or whatever there's a lot of things that I'm going to be able to use this material for it is not my favorite I hate plaid I hated my husband wearing this plaid because it reminded me of an old abusive boyfriend that I had that wore plaid and I hated it and I hate it but you know in a pinch you can use it now, I will probably cut that big seam out when I decide to use this, but that's a nice piece of fabric. So, that is all I'm going to say about this. 
I'm going to cut this. Oh, look, there's another button. Oh, I had to put my glove on. My glove. Because it was hurting my thumb. I have um, over, I have tendonitis from overuse of my thumb. It would probably be easier if I would not cut this all up and just cut the squares that I need out of it. But then I wouldn't be having so much fun trying to cut this material. I don't know. I see um, Pam from the Outpost. She uses a lot of pieces of material in her um, journal making. Um, you probably can't see what I'm doing because I'm cutting this collar off. And she will just use a piece of, you know, she'll just cut a piece of material and use it. So, I am sure that I am probably not going to be using all this material, but, you know, I'll be resourceful like my mama taught me to be, and I will, now this could be a redneck shirt for somebody. <laughs> it was a redneck. Yeah, there's no pockets. There's people that are going out, old people that are getting out of their house and just walking the neighborhood. There's a couple of them out here today walking out. And I think that's really wonderful that they're getting out of their house and um, walking, getting their exercise. That's nice. I'm saying so a lot, aren't I? I don't know what else to say. But this is what I'm going to be doing today. Next, I'm going to be taking a t-shirt. He has some t-shirts. And they are, unfortunately, they are 100% cotton. Fortunately, they are. So, I just want to thumb my nose up at these people who say, the hospitals won't take them unless they're 100% cotton. Well, this is going to, and they said, don't use bed sheets, don't use pillowcases, it ha don't use t-shirts, it has to be 100% cotton. And I'm like thinking, okay, I'm going to find stuff that I have around my house that is 100% cotton. Now, I don't use sheets. I never have bought sheets that aren't 100% cotton. I just don't do that. I don't like only 100% cotton shirts or sheets. And I have a couple of pillowcases. Oh, I think I'm getting a text message to go pick up my my order from Joann's. So, I'm going to finish this shirt out. And then I'm going to come back. And we are going to make a little journal. And I'm going to show you what I found in my ventures of my old treasures in my basement and what I made so I'm going to keep you in suspense so I'm going to finish cutting this up so I'm saying so again I'm going to finish cutting this up and I need big pieces for the mass. So I'm just cutting like 
I don't know. I have to have a six inch square. For the mass. And then they want a, a lining. And I bought some 100%. Now that'll give me a couple of masks I can get out of that piece. Um, I bought flower sack dish towels. They said don't make it out of dish and then they weren't they were thinking terry cloth dish towels. They were like, don't make it out of dish cloth dish towels. Well, I got flower sacks that are 100% cotton. And hopefully, they will believe me when I give these to the people who are collecting them. I don't know where they're going to take them, but they are collecting them so I don't have to go out. You just put them out on your porch and tell them that's where they are, you know, so they don't have to come in to your house. I won't let anybody in the, in my house anyway. I won't even let my sister-in-law over here. Nope. Nobody's coming into my house. Not while we're on lockdown. Isn't this funny that um, all this time people have been um, irritated with people that are prep called preppers? They're not hoarders. They're called preppers where they... They didn't hoard, they just bought extras every time they went to the store. They bought extra stuff and they would put it in their storage. And, um, you know, an extra can of soup, an extra thing of this, and, um, now I see why. And, folks, this is not, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And, I am really afraid that I'm not going to get to move. But I'm still packing my stuff up and being ready. And hopefully, my kids, hopefully, the uh, rent, the truck that I'm renting will still be renting a truck <laughs> and I will disinfect it with Clorox wipes before we get in it and I'm just praying that I get to move I know that my landlady, she cannot make me move. For one, I don't have a place to move to. Okay, I think, I think that's going to be a pretty big piece of material. Okay, so I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will be back. I'm kind of liking this setup. I might, I can see out my window. And um, I might just use this table to, I cleared everything off this table. It was my table that I had my scan and cut on. And I only have like six of these tables that I'm taking to Utah with me. <laughs> But they fold in half, so. All right, my friends. I'm going to love you and leave you. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please um, comment and share and all that stuff. You know all of it.
You know the drill. You have watched me long enough. You know the drill. All right. I will talk to you later. I will show you what I get at Joann's. Okay, bye-bye. I'm back with a haul with my haul from Joanne's fabric. So I wanted to show you what I got to make masks with. I got this, which is a bundle. No elastic, no thread. Nobody ha I have thread though. I want to see what these how big these bundles are. Cause they were not cheap. Oh, that's that's good. That'll make that'll that'll work. So one hundred percent cotton is what they said this was. Then I got this piece, and when you buy online, you have to buy two yards. So I couldn't just buy it half a yard. Uh, you know. Anyway. Then I got this piece. And then I got some pokey dots. And this is really pretty. I'm I'm not I'm gonna use this for a book cover. Some of it. And then I got this Easter. I wanted to get something for guys, you know, because men are going to wear these too. So, so I got this. Is this pretty or what? That's pretty cute. So, all right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you again. This is Mahal. Do you think a guy would wear polka dots like this? I kind of doubt it. Mm. Everything is not masculine, so I think I will be having to make some masculine ones out of the um, plaid shirts, flannel. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will get this up. And I will be back and we will do some journaling stuff. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit.